Sometimes I lose perspective because I get to hang around some of the best guns in the world, get to come to places like Holt and see guns like this, I lose perspective. So I want to do a video where I ask you a question. I'm going to show you this gun and then I'm going to ask, is this gun worth this amount of money in reality? And the market says it is because in the last auction, one of these, a Boss Over and Under, sold for £94,000 plus commission. If you think about it, a new one is twice that. And there's no four or five year wait. So market wise, the answer is yes. What I'd like to know is your thoughts. Let's start, look at this beautiful Boss Over and Under. So this is a 20 ball boss over and under. Obviously a best gun being a boss. This was made in 2011. Starting at the back, we have a 14 and 5 8 London finish and that oil finish is genuinely just beautiful. Highly figured stock. It is a proper London gun and as such, they use that proper old fashioned French walnut. It is just beautiful. And don't get me wrong, I love a flashy piece of walnut, but this just has a, a richness and a subtlety that you don't get from other makers. Obviously hand checkered through a straight hand grip up to that beautiful, beautiful rounded action. And it's the shape of these boss actions that just captures my heart at least from the deeply carved metal work all the way through to that rounded front end. The lines roll round this like, like a supercar. It's the only thing I can think of that's in any way similar. I am, a, I mean, obviously I, I'm, I'm gushing over it, and I do get accused of gushing, and I do apologize for gushing, but how do you not gush? The top leaf has a very subtle M engraved into it. Other than that, it is engraved in the Boss House style with the bouquets of roses with the fine scroll and gold in lead, Boss and Co. It is a single trigger gun, safety on the top. Moving on to the forend, you have that classic Boss forend with the raised side ribs there. And then if you look inside the fore end, you'll see how that metal work joins up in those little holes with that little line there. Everything about this gun is handmade, but it's precision engineered in terms of how it clicks and goes together. It is a thing of beauty. To take one of these apart, you simply push the top lever across and the action, the barrels move straight up as opposed to pivoting and coming off a hinge, a true boss action pops straight up. You have to say the raised side ribs, this gun is a 30 inch gun. It was reproved for steel, CIP proofed with a fleur de lis in 2019, originally proofed in 2011, not for steel, just a standard proof. So this gun has been brought into the modern era. What is interesting to me is that it has what appears to be Teague jokes, and it's not gonna ruin the way that these guns handle, which is dreamy, very little compares. There you go. Look how that drops in there. Look at that. There's something about the way one of these just goes together and operates that is so, so, so special. It is obviously fully case color hardened and being 10 years old, basically it is still in almost original condition. A couple of little use marks on the woodwork and a couple of little use marks on the barrel. But other than that, it is as it left the factory. So on to the main question, is it worth 94,000 pounds plus commission. Simon, why is this gun worth 94,000 pounds plus commission? It's because if you looked at walking into uh, Boss & Co and ordering one new, it's a, it's, a, it's a significant comparative cost saving. I know that sounds ridiculous to say, but it is because mm. they're expensive new. They're very expensive new and they appeal to a certain section of 1% of, of society who can afford it. They are the best of the best. You're looking at a culmination of 200 years of gun making. You're looking at the distillation of all of that competitiveness, all of those patents, all of that uh, fire and toil and sweat and effort that has come down to arguably the zenith of shotguns, which is the 20 ball boss over and under. And in 20 ball, you can't, you'd be a really mean bloke if you picked holes in that. It's about it being the best of the best. The world needs stuff like this. They do. 
You need something to aim at. You need something at the top of the pyramid. It like a few other things you pick up. It, I imagine it's like playing a Steinway piano, if I could play the piano. It's like playing a Stradivarius. Can you not? It, no, of course I can't. Um, I can play a cello. Well, I used to be able to, but not the piano. Um, but yeah, if Stradivarius made a ch uh, did make cellos, and I would, yeah, be delighted to play one. It's nice just Ball to hold, and yeah, then you is. mount it and it gets better. It does. You feel it right down to your toes when you put it in your shoulder. You just that sensation goes through your body. We're, we're getting a little bit wistful here, but it is. It, handling like this, you can't find in ordinary guns. It's a bit like I, I shot the best Purdy, and it's not normal. No, it's not. It's, it's on another it, level. It is, completely. It's separate and distinct from most of the stuff that we pick up. And it's not necessarily better, but it is so much more special. It's refined. That you can't... It's non-comparable. That's great gun making. That is It's great very gun hard to boil down, and we've tried to in the last few minutes, but that's great gun making. The secret's a secret for a reason. Because mm. they're hard won over many, many decades of struggle to get to this point. One day. One, one day? One day. One day? We're going to have to make some money, though. Oh, you'd have to make a, a bit of money. <laughs> How do we do that in the gun trade? Uh, pay oh. rises all round. Oh, absolutely. Nick! <laughs> <laughs> I think that is lovely. I remember when that last one sold and thinking, that is a lucky man. Yeah. And I feel the same about this one. Yeah, there will be a very fortunate owner to have that. If you had £130,000, which is that top estimate plus commission. Yep. Would you buy it? Yes. And that's fair enough. enough. And I don't say that lightly. Yeah. But... Providing you'd, you'd paid off the mortgage and done all the other no, things no. that people say first. If I had it spare, yes. Yes because they don't come around very often. As soon as it arrives, and I put it together very carefully, so, because you have to put these together really carefully, but when it went in the shoulder, there's instantly, the answer to that question, of if you had the money, is a yes. Mm. You can fall in love too easily. It's got to be every person's life goal to own a boss over and under. If you're into shooting and fine guns. What a fine thing. From the, it just everything about it is perfect, isn't it? Yeah. And when you doubt it, or when you think it's not special enough. Yeah, but you doubt, this is one of the things about a gun of this quality is you don't feel doubt when you shoot it. It's just so refined yeah. that you just can't help to shoot with a smile on your face and you're more likely to have a good result because of it. Yeah. Because yeah. You're, you're totally immersed in a gun like this. And you don't care. And you really don't because you've got a beautiful you gun really in your hands care. and it's a wonderful day. Thank you, mate. Pleasure. I'm going to spend it's some a pleasure time to see this. guns like these. It's, it is a real privilege, isn't it? Yeah. But not very many people get to pick one up. That, I, I said right at the beginning of the video, it is such a privilege to get to see stuff like this and you get jaded almost to the point where something like this becomes just not normal it's never normal yeah but you forget what a privilege it is to be around i never forget i'm surrounded by I'm, you know my office is full of not full but has guns of similar level in it on a regular basis i never get i never forget mm. the privilege that that is to pick one of these things up you don't get jaded trust me well it's just <laughs> you get jaded by that the gun can be a hundred thousand that was more than my point at the yeah. beginning that the cost of guns can sometimes lose their yeah. relevance yes yeah because you know you can never afford them they, they lose relevance yeah if it stops being about the gun entire and it starts being about just the engraving or, or gold encrusted this and diamond in you know gold Nothing inlaid, wrong with diamond gold. Encrusted. We like gold. no 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 we like yeah. gold. a bit of gold here <laughs> and there. Um, but if it's all about the adornment and not about the refinement of the overall yes gun and the, de and the job it's designed to do, then you've lost something. You've moved away from the raison d'etre of building a gun. You can get. It's well, become bling and not bang. Can you get, probably a better one, can you get any of this flavor, in your opinion, for a significant fraction of the cost? <sighs> and I know the answer is obviously yes, but I, I probably don't mean it in, you a, can in get, a fraction. You can get a taster, you cannot get the full five course meal. Good way. Back to our food analogies. Where? Mm. <laughs> Mate, thank you very much. Pleasure. That was, always. Uh, it's always good to just fawn and dribble over it. It is, yeah. And this was the obvious Do one. Do wipe fawn. off the dribble, well, dribble before we put it back in the case. Mm.